He's a tremendous designer. I think he defines American sportswear. And he's hysterical, which just makes it so much more fun. Michael Kors has always been king of the urban jungle, but this season he's taken things a little more literally. It's a trip through Africa, and they have nothing to groom their hair with but these leather shoelaces. It's pretty much just all the versions of bronze, gold, beige, tan, taupe, fawn, camel, sand. <laughs> you know, safari colors. Baby, I have no story to be told. You've gone to Africa. I love to travel, I always have. I love big cities, but no escape in the world beats going to Africa. A sort of departure for Michael Kors. It really wasn't what we were expecting, but actually when we quantify it and when we look at the leather and suede and when we look at the prints and when we look at the materials and the chunky sweaters, I mean, you know, Michael Kors customers love his sweaters. He does great sweaters and there were some great pieces there and I love that the stylist had put holes in and I'm very much hoping that the ones that we actually have to sell won't have the same holes in them. Sometimes his collections are about the reality of life in the city, you know, and they're very urban. He said this collection was about escape. Well, I think that since the beginning he has been very into the idea of escape in the sense that it's all about on the go, you know, like you're always on an aeroplane or a helicopter or on a boat. Or, and maybe being summer, you get more excited about the idea of going somewhere, no? I think that cold weather and fall shows, for me, have a tendency that I really have to kind of answer questions. I think when the weather gets warm, even if you're not escaping, you want to escape. So for me, that's very much what this is about. He knows who he's dressing. He knows the ladies that, that buy his clothes, and I love that. He makes you feel like a goddess, and they're sexy, but understated and glamorous. Um, and I, I love wearing his clothes. They're classic, but they're always with a modern twist. It was very out of Africa, and it definitely had tribal elements, but it equally, a lot of the pieces that went down the runway wouldn't be out of place in the Hamptons or, you know, in Portofino. I'm not one for colonial formality at all. And uh, we found an amazing lodge that we've gone back to three times, and it's this modernist, glass lodge in the middle of the bush. So it has that dichotomy that I love. It's streamlined, it's modern, it's user-friendly and luxurious, but boy, the nature explodes around you. And that inspired this collection? Though. Very, very much. That mix of the two things. Is that where you'll go for your honeymoon? My life is my honeymoon, Tim. On road, yeah.